Hey everyone, today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Warmir K87. It's a beginner friendly TKL keyboard that includes some great features including hot swap sockets and RGB lighting. For full disclosure, Warmir did send me this keyboard for free to review for this video, but my opinions are my own and weren't influenced by anything besides my own experience. And because I don't necessarily need this keyboard, I thought it would be a good idea to give this keyboard to one of you guys. I'll share more details about the giveaway later on in the video, and the link to purchase your own K87 will be down in the description. Now let's open this up and see what's inside. The first thing we're introduced to is a small user manual for the keyboard. It has some useful information on function buttons, including the lighting controls. It also lets us know everything we should be getting inside the box. Next up, we have the keyboard inside of a protective bag. Let's put that aside for now and check out the other accessories in the box first. Included in the box is a pretty standard USB-C connector. There's nothing really too special about it, but it's nice that they included a wire for you in the box. I already have my own custom connector, so I won't be needing it. But for the giveaway, I'll be sure to ship the keyboard with all the accessories included. We also get a little brush to keep your keyboard nice and dust free, as well as a keycap and switch puller. I don't really like these small ones, I prefer using a wire keycap puller and a larger switch puller because they're easier to use. However, it is nice that they do include these in the box because they are expecting people to customize the board and it's better to include something rather than nothing. And finally, let's take the keyboard out and take a look. As you guys can see, this is the botanical version of the keyboard. I think they did an excellent job with the design and really pulled off the theme well. I especially like the subtle leaves on the front of the case. All the colors work well together and aren't overly competing for your attention. On the back, we have some rubber feet of different sizes to give the keyboard a bit of an angle. And you'll have a better view of the transparent acrylic, allowing you to see the PCB. This keyboard makes great use of the frosted acrylic look with the inclusion of RGB lighting. It comes with a bunch of different lighting effects that you can cycle through if you're into that sort of thing. And of course, you can just have the lights turned off or set to a SATA color. Now, let's take a listen to how this keyboard sounds right out of the box. Obviously, it isn't going to sound perfect right out of the box, especially with unloop stabilizers, but this keyboard does have potential. I know many people enjoy the TKL layout because it's feature rich with no compromises. Notably, it has a standard size right shift, a full function row, and non awkward arrow key placement. And the size isn't terribly larger than a 65%, so you are able to save desk space while maximizing your keys. The only thing lacking from the TKL layout is the inclusion of the number pad. The typing angle with this keyboard is a bit more acute than I prefer. This combined with a different keycap profile felt a bit awkward for me. The keyboard is flatter than most which is helpful for proper typing ergonomics but may be difficult for users to get used to. Ultimately this just comes down to preference. You can always increase the angle by putting something underneath like a wrist rest or change out the keycaps to a profile you're more comfortable with. The thing about this keyboard that gets me the most excited is that it's hot swappable, meaning that you can change out the switches without needing to do any soldering. I'm seeing hot swap become more and more popular in keyboards, and it's definitely a feature I like entry level keyboards to have because it makes customization more accessible. I changed out these switches for Momoka Frog switches and actually made a video reviewing these if you'd like to learn more about them. I thought the color of the Momoka Frogs would match well with the rest of the green. As for the stabilizers, I'll perform some standard mods on the stabilizers that came pre-installed with the keyboard. 
I just did some bandaid modding and lubricating to get rid of the wobble and rattliness that I was experiencing. They are plate mounted, so you don't have to take the keyboard apart to remove them. And after just a little bit of work, here's how the keyboard sounds now. I think this keyboard is great for people who like the design, but it does come in some other color options if you don't enjoy the botanical theme. Also, the RGB lighting is definitely a bonus. It's nice and bright and bleeds onto the desk nicely. I think this keyboard would be good for people who enjoy modding or just learning how to mod keyboards for the first time. Again, hot swap sockets definitely make it a more accessible option because you don't have to worry about soldering. And lastly, the TKL size is a little large but doesn't compromise when it comes to features. So if you want to learn more about the keyboard or buy one for yourself, check out the link in the description. Okay, time for the part you've probably been waiting for, the giveaway. If I can get 5,000 subscribers by the end of June, I'll give it away to one lucky winner. All you have to do is be subscribed and leave a positive comment or a video idea down below. I am going to limit this to the US only, and I'll change the switches back to the original ones that came with the keyboard, but I will lubricate them for you. And if I don't get 5k subs by then, I'll just give the keyboard away on my Twitter, so follow me there to stay updated. And if you have any questions, leave it down below, and I'll try to get to you as fast as I can. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.